Hey, Greg. Hey, buddy. How are you? Hey, man. Nigga, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Yeah, from yeah. Beer on a Roll. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you very much. I'm going to take this hat off, if you don't mind. Yeah. I'm biking a lot lately. Uh -huh. But uh, thanks for uh, having us here. Church it's a pleasure. Key. Church yeah. Key. <laughs> Church Key, yeah. It's, uh, I'm really glad you guys were able to come down. And uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is Church Key. This is the depository for all of our 555 beers. So we have an ever-rotating list of 50 draft beers, which are behind us, of course. 500 bottles, five cask ales, all kinds of can pump cask ales, like you see all over England. Um, and that's all here. We keep all the kegs up in this mezzanine, uh, and then the drafts come down here. But they also shoot down to Birch and Barley below. We have one kitchen that services both levels. Up here, you know, more kind of like pubby fare, really yeah. great, still seasonal, yeah. locally driven. Um, downstairs is a fine dining restaurant mm -hmm. that just happens to have 555 beers that myself and my staff can play with in pairings and things like that. I mean, we offer a tasting menu nightly downstairs, um, a six course tasting menu with beer pairings rather than with wine. So oh, great. Uh, we really kind of just took it to the next level. Well, hey everybody, we're over here at uh, Church Key again, and uh, come on d down here, the uh, address is uh, 14th Street. 14th in Rhode Island, Logan Circle in Washington, D.C. All right, and um, you know, they, they got a great selection here, 500 and... 55 beers. 55, okay, so you, you, you don't have an excuse not to come down here and try their great beers here, so come on down, and uh, uh, we're about to roll out of here, though, and go over to... Blue Jacket. Blue Jacket, so we'll see you there in a few minutes. So here we are again over at now Blue Jacket, having come from Church Key over at Logan Circle. Here with Greg again. Greg, good to see you again. See you too. And, thanks for coming uh, by. Thanks. Thank you for having us. And uh, wow, look at the size of this place. First of all, really marvel by the space you have here. Can you tell us a little bit about Blue sure. Jacket? Yeah, absolutely. So um, after we set up Church Key and Birch and Barley, uh, we had a lot of other. We always have a lot of ideas of things we want to do. And so Blue Jacket which is the restaurant and bar with brewery um, that we are just about to open here uh, in the Navy Yard uh, area of Washington, D.C., was a kind of companion piece to Church Key. So once Church Key got rolling, we set our sights on this space, and uh, we fell in love with it right away. I mean, Navy Yard was the only real industrial area of D.C. for, for many years, for about 200 years. Um, and just recently, they started to turn it over to kind of more contemporary development. So uh, the building we're in is this gorgeous uh, building built in 1918. And it really, for the longest time, it was a Boilermaker factory for the Navy. And what can you say to all the baseball fans? I think we're pretty close to a certain yeah, stadium. Yeah, that's, I, I failed to mention. So Navy Yard is probably more so known for National Stadium. The Washington Nationals built the stadium in 2008. Uh, it's beautiful. It's a stone's throw from here, about three blocks that way. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a, a fantastic place to get craft beer before and after the game. Now looking up here, it looks like you have a lot of tanks. Uh, would it be possible to go upstairs and take a look? Absolutely. All right, let's go. This is a 15-barrel brew house, meaning we can produce about 30 kegs of each batch at a time. Mm -hmm. um, the amount of fermentation space is really important because it allows for us to make lots of different things. Uh, we're going to have 20 of our own beers on at all times, on draft. We're going to have bottles of our own beer. We're going to have our own five different cask ales from us. So lots of different variety, lots of rotation, lots of new things. But also it allows us to leave the beer in tank for longer periods of time. So mm -hmm. a lot of breweries, I mean, of our size, we're going to be able to do 5,000 barrels annually, which is pretty big. It's a pretty decent size. And we'll be selling it in the restaurant and bar here, but also all throughout the area. So mm -hmm. Blue Jacket will be available throughout the D.C. A metro region to start and then hopefully further afield. So you'll see um, color nice and yeah. golden clear, um, you know, unfiltered. We don't filter this, this beer at all, so we leave all the essential hop oils in, in, into the beer and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And then, yeah, it's How's a the nose? big nose. Yeah. I'm going to want you to give that a whirl. Oh my. Definitely a fruitiness to it. Yeah. Big and bold, but a hop fruitiness, you know, not from the yeast fermentation. No, but it's not overbearing. No, it's not. No. It's very, it's moderate. I mean, yeah. it's it's got a full flavor to it, and, and you're right, very refreshing. Yeah, you know, we call this hop juicing. So, uh, you know, the earlier we add hops in the brewing process, the more bitterness we're going to extract, mm -hmm. less aroma. So, right. with this beer, we were really gentle with the hopping early on, okay. uh, and what we call the the hot side, which is the brewing process itself, the the mashing and the boiling, mm -hmm. uh, the whirlpool, and but the cold side, which is fermentation. 
That's after we fermented the beer, then we dry hopped it super heavily. Okay. So we're trying to extract less of the bitterness and give you more of the aroma, and that's what we call hop juicing. Fantastic. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody.